Hey everybody, it's John here again, and uh, today I'm going to take a look at The Simpsons Devil Flanders from Super 7. Uh, I figured I should get this open as soon as I can. Um, recently, Brian Flynn has says that they had gotten, or received good batches and bad batches that they've seen so far, and um, I have seen nothing but broken ones so far from everybody that's already opened it up. And reviewed it with the legs just immediately falling off and the heads not fitting. Uh, but he is a cool figure, so I figured I should take a look at him and see what mine is like. And if it's not, you know, good, I guess there's a return or an exchange that you can do. So I am going to take a look at him. And you can see there's no slip cover anymore. Super 7's given up on that, which is kind of a shame for the collectors that liked the slip covers. But I, mine always went kind of in the trash anyway, so it doesn't bother me. And uh, you see his contract, his trident. There's the flaming pen, or I think that was his fingernail, but. And it's got the Simpsons kind of sky as a focus in the Springfield from the cartoon. There's Double Flanders, appears in Three House of Horror, Season 5, Episode 5, 28th, 1993. Um, it looks like their license with The Simpsons has ended with Disney. I think they've had some issues. Uh, I don't know. We'll see as time goes on what happens. But, I mean, I liked most of these that I have so far. But this one seems to be the controversial one. So, give me just a second. I'll take a closer look. Well, surprising enough, I think mine... This is one of the, the, the good ones. Um, I did get him to stand up, and his legs are not falling off. So I think that's as good as that's going to get. Uh, he's standing. Um, weird. Maybe I got lucky. Uh, so his legs are floppy, and he's going to need to stand for sure. But mine do not fall off. They are actually connected, and they stay. But it is tough to balance this guy. I mean, he's got hooves for feet, and he's very top-heavy. But, uh, yeah, let's take a little closer look here at Nettie Boy. You see he's got his glasses, his horns, his awesome mustache, his lower lip, no chin, four fingers. He's got a little bit of chest hair going on that skin colored, and then his little demon goat half is well sculpted, and his hooves, and his little demon tail. And uh, that's really all there is to Nettie. He is the nice Simpsons yellow color. My nose has a scuff on it on this one. Um, I'm going to probably change the head out to a different one, but I'm a little bummed out that it looks like the one I want has some paint damage. He does have a soft goods coat that has a wire running down the entire edges of it, so you can get it doing some flares. Not too bad. Um, I mean, these are pretty simple. He is... My legs are a little floppy compared to the heavy. how heavy he is. It sounds like they made him hollow, probably to take some of the weight off of him. But uh, the hips are a little loose. And there ain't no way it's going to support him for very long, even though I did get him to balance. But my my legs are on. So there you go. There is some out there where the legs do not break off. I got a lucky one. So you got a head on a peg. That does give you some gappage here. But it can go forward, backwards, around... You get a lot of movement. It's a thin, thin peg that makes me nervous if I pop that head off. Makes me a little nervous. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. And I just usually have single, yeah, single hitch shoulders that go up and around, which will be a little bit tough with this, but they can. Single jointed elbow there. Rotation at the wrist. And there is a hinge hidden in there. Diaphragm. It gives hardly any movement. I don't really know what the point of it is. 
And then the problem for most, the legs. And what the issue seems to be is the socket, and they put a cut in the top of it so that the leg can go out like this. But some of them, it doesn't look like the internal piece here was drilled properly so that the, the ball that connects them doesn't get tight enough. And they just pop off. And that's an issue. And they do go forward and back because of that. It'll just a hair. He has hardly any movement. It's definitely for display. And then you get nothing else. And then you get a rotation and hinge at his tail. But they are too weak to hold his weight for very long. He's a tough boy to balance. Yeah, he's definitely going to need some kind of stand. Um, let's see. He also comes with the contract for Homer Simpson. And that's not, that's cool. He's got just this simple gray trident thing. We've got the flaming pen to sign. Got a hand to hold that. Another hand to hold. Pointy hand, which I like the pointy hand, so I'm going to... Eh. I'm going to pop that off and pop it in. Cool, I like that hand. Let's take the other hand off. <clears throat> Let's go with the holdy hand. I'm nervous about the head. Oh, not too bad. That is a pretty thin plastic peg. Now, you've got mouth opened, talking Flanders head, which this one is very well clean and spot on. Then we got the angry screaming head, which is the one I want to use, but I don't know if it shows up well or not, but, uh, the tip of my horn here has gotten no paint on it, so I can kind of see that, but some people have had some problems with this head as well, being loose. Oh, it's hard. To, uh, I might have to heat it up before I try this to be safe. Yeah, that ain't going to go on without any heat. That's the, I think that's the way I'm going to probably display mine, is with this and this. Yeah, let's see if I can get them to hold. Mm -hmm. Come on, this hand is a tight one. There we go. Can hold it. Oh, it's pretty floppy. Oh. I think it's going to be enough to help him balance either. It might give him enough. Yeah, it sure does. So I can get him to balance with that for a minute. But like I said, it's pretty floppy itself. And then I'm going to have to heat him up for this. Yeah, that's as good as that's going to be. I'm going to heat that up before I try anything else. But, uh, yeah, mine does have his legs on, so they are out there, and, uh, I just got to try to get that. So it does have issues. There are a lot of QC problems with this one out in the field, so if you have a bad one, I guess let them know. Um, I'm, I mean, the tolerances on the legs are probably as best as I could, so he has said that he has this problems, but there are some that are okay. So, uh... Thanks for watching. If you have them, let me know how yours turned out. And, um, you know, what are your thoughts on them losing the Simpsons license? It's a bummer if you ask me, but, uh, we'll see. Anyway, see you later. Bye.
Hi, I just want to say thank you one more time for checking out this video. And if you're interested in seeing any more, you can click uh, either one of the links that will be over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there'll be a button down below where you can do that as well. And again, thank you.